Hello friends, this video on pair of linear equations in two variables part 1 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. What we will study? We will study a pair of linear equations in two variables. We will study graphical method to solve pair of linear equations. We will also study algebraic method to solve pair of linear equations. In algebraic method, we will study substitution method elimination method and cross multiplication method. We also study types of pair of linear equations that is consistent, dependent and inconsistent. Let's start. Why do we need pair of linear equations in two variables? First, let me focus the term here pair. We have two equations, then we have linear, then we have equation and then we have two variable. All these terms need to be focused on. Now, let me give you a scenario. In a class, we are told that if you add girl plus boy, this is 5, that means if you add the number of girls and number of boys in the class, you get 5. I mean, subtract the number of boys from the number of girls, you get 1. Let's suppose. In your class, you are told that the number of boys plus number of girls is 5 and the number of girls is more than number of boy by 1. We are told. Now we have to find how many boys, how many girls. So for that, what we'll do, we'll form pair of linear equation. So what we'll say, we'll say boy plus girl is equal to 5 and second is girl minus boy is equal to 1. So if you see, these are nothing but two linear equations. They are two linear equations because the power is 1. If you see, the boy power is only 1. So boy and girl you can represent by x and y also you can say like this x plus y is equal to 5 girl is y so we'll say y minus x is equal to 1 same thing I can write in this way here if you see the powers are 1 x to the power 1 y to the power 1 the maximum power is 1 so it's called linear equations correct there are two variables x and y so it's called linear equation in two variable and there are two equations like this so we call pair of linear equation all right. We'll, we'll go through this in the next slides. Just I'm trying to give you a real life scenario. Why do we need linear equation? Pair of linear equation. For example, we have boys and girls term we know, and we know that boy number of girls is one more than number of boys. We have to find the number of boys and girls. Then we can use pair of linear equation to find it. And why it is called pair of linear equation in two variables? Because they are two equations, so it is pair. Both the equations are linear, so they are called linear equations. And there are two variables in each of these equations, so they are called pair of linear equation in two variables. Let's define this once again. Equation that can be put in this form ax plus by plus c is equal to zero, where a, b, c are real number, where obviously a and b can't be zero together, so we can say that root of a square plus b square is equal to zero. When you say root of a square plus b square is equal to zero or a square plus b square is equal to zero, both are same. That means either one of these has to be non-zero, correct? If both are zero, this will become zero. So when I say a square plus b square is not equal to zero, that means both a and b cannot be zero together. This is called linear equation two variable x and y. Why? Because the power maximum is one. If you see x to the power one, y to the power one, the maximum power is one, so they are called linear, and they are two variables, so they are called linear equation in two variables. Now if you have two equations like this, that will call that will call pair of linear equation of two variables. Now, in this slide, we are talking, talking only about linear equation of two variables. We are not talking about pair now. Try to understand. Linear equation of two variables is of form this one: ax plus by plus c is equal to zero, where both of a and b can't be zero together because if both are zero together, c is equal to zero. That will not make any sense. Correct. That is linear equation because the maximum power is 1, linear equation. There are two variables, so they are called linear equation of two variables. For example, you can say 3x plus 4y is equal to 2. This is also linear equation of two variables. But if I say 3x square plus 4y square is equal to 5, this is not linear equation. Why? Because the power of x is 2, the power of y is 2. So it is not linear equation. This is quadratic equation of two variables. Correct? If I say 3x plus 4y 
plus 5z is equal to 6. This is linear equation because the maximum power is 1. But it is not linear equation of two variables. It is linear equation of three variables. X, Y and Z. Correct? That means if you want to create a linear equation of two variables, there are two things that is mandatory. First is the equation has to be linear. There is a maximum power should be one and it should have only two variables. Then only it is linear equation of two variables. Else, for example, if you see this is linear equation of three variable and this is quadratic equation of two variable. Correct? Please note linear is a term here and two is a term here which are minor, which are critical linear equation to variable. Geometrically what happens if you want to find solution of such variables for example ax plus by plus c is equal to zero what we have to do we have to just draw a line for this equation. So the line which is for this equation every point in the line every point in the line represents the equation for example let's suppose we have uh, x plus y is equal to one this is the equation we have. Now let's suppose this is my number line, uh, this is my x, y axis, correct? This is x, this is y, x plus y is always 1, so if I say x is equal to 0, y is equal to 1, if I say uh, y is equal to 0, x is equal to 1, so I'll get line like this, this will be my line, correct? This is uh, x is 0, 1 and this is 1, 0, and this you can say 1 by 2, 1 by 2. Correct. So every point in this line, every point in this line represents this equation. So graphically, if we are given a linear equation in two variables or anything, linear equation three variables, doesn't matter. Any equation you draw the, the graph, every point of the graph represents the equation. So in this case, we had x plus y is equal to one, and we have represented the line. We have, we have drawn the graph for this x plus y is equal to one, and every point in this line represents this equation. Correct. So graphically, each solution that is x, y, any point in this line is a any point in this line represents an equation. Correct. Now, after knowing the linear equation of two variable, this we know it is any equation that is linear and which has two variable. Now, let me introduce pair of linear equation of two variable. So here, what we'll do, we'll have two equations like this. So this is a1 x plus b1 y plus c1, a2 x plus b2 y plus c2 is equal to 0. So these are the two linear equations of two variables. So we call this pair of linear equations of two variables. Please make a note. This is called pair of linear equations of two variables. Why? Because we have two equations, two linear equations of two variables. So it is called pair of linear equations of two variables. Correct? This is the general form of pair of linear equation of two variables a1x plus b1y plus c1 is equal to 0, a2x plus b2y plus c2 is equal to 0. Please make yourself compatible with this single form because we will be using this very often. Where a1, a2, uh, b1, b2, c1, c2 all are real numbers and both a and b can't be two, 0 together. That means a1 square plus b1 square is, equal to, is not equal to 0 and a2 square plus b2 square also is not equal to 0. Why? Because at a given point of time, both should not be equal to 0. Because if both are 0, for example, this is 0, this becomes C1 is equal to 0. That is not a parallel equation. It doesn't make sense. So, the condition is A1, B1, C1, A2, B2, C2 are all real numbers. And at a given point of time, A1 square plus B1 square is not equal to 0. Also, A2 square plus B2 square is not equal to 0. This is the general form of equation in two variables. Correct? Also, if you want, one thing you should know that if we have a linear equation in two variables, if we have, if you want to uh, find solution for linear equation in two variables, the number of equations required, the number of equations required is two. Similarly, for linear equation in three variables, the number of equations divided is 3. It's a general truth that is, let's suppose we have x plus y is equal to 5. If you want to know the value of x plus y, the unique value of x plus y which satisfies this, you can't find. For this, you need one more equation, any equation. For example, x minus y is equal to 2. So if we have two equations, and if these are equations of two variables, 
then using two equation I can find unique value of x and y. I'll explain you all this thing in the next slides. But just try to understand. For example, if you have x plus y plus z is equal to zero of this form where you have three variables, right? Then you need three equations to solve. If you want to find the exact value of x and y and z which, which satisfies this, then you need three equations. For example, let's suppose three x plus two y plus five z is equal to one or three x plus y plus two is equal to seven. So if you see here, the point I'm trying to say is if there is a linear equation of n variables, for example, a1, b1, c1, c2 like that, sorry, x, y, z like that. So here we have two variables x and y. So if we have n variables, then you need n equations to solve the equations. So in our syllabus, we should not worry about 3, 4, 5, 6, and n. This is not in our syllabus. You can ignore this part. We are concerned only about linear equation in two variables. That's why, as per rule, if you want to solve linear equation of two variables, you need two equations to solve it. As I explained just now, that means we need a pair of linear equation in two variables. So everywhere in this chapter, you will be talking about pair of linear equations in two variables. Because since it is two variable equation, so we need at least two equations like this to solve the equation. Correct? So we are talking about always pair of linear equation of two variables. Correct? Now approach to solve a pair of linear equation. For example, I have 3x plus 2y is equal to 5 is one linear equation, right? And 2x plus 3y is equal to 2 is one equation. How to solve it? Or the example we had, boy plus girl is equal to 5 and boy girl minus boy is equal to 1, right? This equation we had. This is also linear equation of two variables. How to solve it? So in the introduction, I told you we can solve the equations using linear equation of two variables, pair of linear equation of two variables, but I have not exactly solved it. I just showed you the two equations. Now I'll explain you the approach to solve pair of linear equation. There are two approach. The first approach is the graphical method and the second approach is the algebraic method. I'll explain both of these. First, let me take graphical method. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.